everybody and welcome back to Amity Blue. My name is Nazzy. I have finally come back. I'm actu I've actually been in a little bit of a, like a journaling funk. I haven't really been journaling um, for the past couple weeks. Just recently, like a couple days ago, I, I got into the groove again. Um, this happens to me about every couple of months or so. Like if I focus a lot on crafting for my Etsy shop and for YouTube videos, my my own personal journaling gets, you know, left behind. Um, but nonetheless, I finally got my groove again, and I started journaling again. I just wanted to take a break from Etsy, from YouTube, from my own crafty, you know, hobbies. I just wanted to take a break and watch some Food Network Holiday Baking Championship cook-off. <laughs> Today I wanted to do a process video in my journal. Not my vintage scrapbooky journal, but this one. So I will quickly do a little flip through of what I have completed thus far in this journal. As you can see, these are immensely chunky. <laughs> you can't really tell that I haven't been journaling. I <laughs> can't you? All right. So starting off, this one is that I made it with a magazine cover. Um, here I journaled a little bit some more journaling just a lot of these pages I just wanted to get my feelings out this one I don't really know I just kind of collaged collaged things together this is where I started doing a new little technique that I'm going to show you today um, the background to these to this journal page is actually from do, 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 do. <laughs> this my Daphne's diary planner like I said, I wasn't going to use it for a planner, so I thought, I know a lot of people will cringe. Yes, I am cutting up the planner. <laughs> I love cutting things up. That's just what I do. And um, it adds so much depth to the page. It makes it look like I painted it and I scratched it. And I didn't really. I just glued it on the page. And I included little text spots, just like what I do with my junk journals. And then these were for Christmas. You know, I love this. I love seeing the different sizes of paper. I love that. This is something really fun that I did. Um, it's a little journal card, and then I included a little tip in in here. I saw Aubrey Shannon. She is a lovely human being inside and out. Please check her channel out. I will link it below as well as her Instagram. I saw her incorporate um, a lot of pictures and like little tip ins and a lot of journal cards in her personal journal and I really fell in love with it. And I really loved um, this page because on, what was it, the 12th of December, I decided to make little cookie goodie bags for the workers that were working on the road. These hardworking men have been working since like sunrise to sunset at night, even longer to like 9, 10 o'clock in like 30 degree weather. I think they're working for the cable company or something and um, they're just working so hard and you know you pass them in your car nice and comfy you know drinking your coffee or whatever I wanted to give them thank you you know I wanted to show them my appreciation of their hard work that they're putting in so I decided to make them little cookie goodie bags and um, I went on the road <laughs> I felt like Little Red Riding Hood because I had like my long jacket and my little bag of treats. And so I went to each man personally and I thanked him that their work is not, their work is not in vain, you know. And so I gave him some cookies and so I journaled about that. And then in the back here, another little cute something that happened is when I was at the store buying the cookies and goodie bags. This lady behind me, her like stuff just fell on the floor and so I helped her pick it up. And she, you know, she said, thank you, that was so nice. And we started talking and she actually goes to Venezuela and every year she takes, you know, toothbrushes and socks and candy, a lot of things that we take for granted here in America and she takes it to Venezuela and the um, South American countries where they're extremely poor. Poverty is at its lowest and they don't have anything. And she's kind of like Santa Claus in a way because she brings them these amazing treats and gifts that are truly praised in in Latin America. And so I thought that was amazing. And I would have never known about that if I didn't help um, pick up 
all of her things that fell on the ground. So this day was very important to me because trying, being the best person you can be to not only, you know, yourself and your loved ones, but to others as well. Always do something nice for others. You know, you never know. You might, you know, find out something cool about them and or something wonderful that they're doing. So I love this day. I've just, I even teared up because I just, I felt so happy. So I did that that day and I'm going to decorate this page with you guys today and I decorate a little bit in advance here um, I'm actually starting to incorporate a vegan diet slowly into my lifestyle um, I love animals so granted of course I would love to incorporate a vegan diet um, so I did these buffalo cauliflower wings they're delicious everyone loved them in a vegan ranch dip I will also link below the YouTube channel where I learned this recipe from they it's a couple and they're amazing I love their recipes and then on this page, I wanted to journal. I kind of decorated already with scrapbook paper and a little tag. This is my title. I wanted to um, journal about, you know, peace on earth. And there's a lot of bad things and evil things that are happening in the world right now. In countries such as Syria, you know, all that's going on over there. And then in Mexico with like the drug cartels. And there's just so much evilness in the world um, that has happened. And here in America with the Dakota Pipeline, if you haven't, you know, researched it, you know, just companies and countries don't really, aren't really caring about their people as much as they should. So there's just a lot of evilness going on. And I wanted to journal about that because, you know, not everything is, hey, happy, you know, cookies, Christmas, all of that. You know, there's stuff going on around us that sometimes we try to block out and, I wanted to journal about there about peace on earth and on the back I put plant because I would like that idea of planting kindness into your own self because if you're kind you're going to express your kindness with others you know um, a little information about me a couple years ago especially in high school because I'm not that old <laughs> I'm 20 I'm about to turn 21 but um, in high school, I wasn't really that kind because, well, I mean, I obviously wasn't mean, but I wasn't kind to myself. I didn't love myself. I wasn't kind to myself. And until I, and of course, I wasn't showing a good amount of kindness with others, with my family, with my loved ones. I wasn't really a nice person to be around. And, you know, recently after graduating and all of that, I learned to love myself and, um, I learned to love myself, which allowed me to express my kindness a lot more easily. And of course, we all have our bad days and we're just grumpy and, you know, whatever. But you're always, you should always be kind. Always have empathy towards yourself and towards others. That is very important. And I just wanted to go on a spiel about planting kindness in ourselves, you know, in your children. And, you know, whoever you meet, just plant kindness. It's like you're planting a little seed. And if you, you know, water that seed with kindness and love and peace, it will grow and it will bloom. You know, that's kind of the concept of my channel, you know, Amity Bloom. Blooming of kindness and empathy and, all right, I'm getting very emotional, so let's just stop. <laughs> let's move on. And then over here, I wanted to journal about, it says special delivery. Um, I recently, my partner works for UPS and um, I didn't really know all of the work that you know the UPS workers and you know the postal service and the mail carriers all the work that ha they have to do especially in this holiday season you know like we order gifts online and we just want them to be here you know like one day priority or two day priority mail and we're just thinking about our gift being here trust me I'm guilty of that I just want my gift to be here already that you kind of don't think about all the work that goes behind that and so he told me that um, there's a lot of people that work from, you know, the the UPS delivery drivers that work from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 10, 11 at night. So they're, you know, putting in so many hours of hard work just so that you can get your gift. And I wanted to dedicate this page for them and just kind of say thank you to all of them. And, you know, always try to give your mail carriers a little gift for Christmas, you know, a little gift card or some chocolates or candy just to show your appreciation because it's not an easy job. And... It's a job that's very important, but you know, it, they don't get a lot of recognition for it. So that was this page. And behind here, I just made a little pocket with some tags that I will journal about um, 
this page, I wanted to list all of the gifts that I got for everyone, just so that I remember, you know, I think just, I like putting that things, those little things down so that I remember, you know, 20 years down the road, oh, I remember I got that for my mom, or I got that for my sister. So if that's something fun, and I want to add pictures on the back of the journals. So, just felt like I wanted to talk with you guys since I haven't really made a video, so I just wanted to get everything out. <laughs> so let's start working on this page. To start this off, I want to use some of my leftover, like, Christmas paper. So, this page, I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, I want to focus it on the Christmas tree decorating. So, I also pulled out this page. Okay, I need a bigger desk. Alright, this is a page from the Daphne's Diary Planner with cute little Christmas trees and even though it says November and the weeks, we will cover all of that up, but I wanted to include this. So this is what I've been doing, okay? Please don't cringe. I just rip it from the planner. I know, I know. I know a lot of you will be like, Nazi, no! I know. <laughs> I just, this is how I like to do it. It just. I, this is how I like to do it. <laughs> so all I do is I take this page. It's the perfect size for the Midori. I mean for the standard size notebook. So obviously like it just makes my life a whole lot easier. I will just cover this. But I don't want to cover this page. I like this page. Hold on. Let's not cover my favorite washi. I'll leave that. I'll leave you right there. Yeah, so I can cover up this page because look at the cute little Christmas tree. Um, I'm also going to use some leftover pieces of this Prima collection. Definitely, probably not the peppermint one because the colors are a little bit more vintage. These are more pastel. And um, I really like this because it's this would be perfect if you did December daily because it starts with, you know, one, two, three. It labels all of the days, so it makes it even easier. And let's see. Oh, this one's cute. Ooh, more stickers. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. That song, Oh, Christmas tree. I'll use that one. So I'll use those stickers. I also have, where is it? And then I got these journal cards from Studio 7, I think, from Tuesday morning. And look at that, a Christmas tree. There you go. And all the colors kind of go together, you know, they're all pastel. So that's what we're going to use. So now that we know what we're going to use, let me show you how I incorporate all of this together. Starting on this page, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. I usually like to keep these little bits at the end because I think, I don't know, it gives it some, it makes it more tactile. So obviously here I just, I like that look and I love messing with it. <laughs> if you're into paper crafting, I seriously suggest you invest in a paper trimmer. And I'm going to save this because I love the little Christmas trees and I like that little flappiness. So that goes in my scrap bin. All right. I know I said I was going to glue this, but look at the back, you guys. I really like how the purple contrasts everything else because this it looks pretty obviously but it's just a lot of white of stark white and it doesn't really complement anything the purple though complements this little pink here and because I have a lot of green and like yellow purple is a great complementary color to that so I think I'm going to use purple Decided because then I can use these this cute little Christmas card and it makes the Christmas tree stand out I just applied glue and then you just add it to the page just like that That's simple and then you can always add washi tape down the side if it begins to lift um, I just like to use my glue stick you can use a tape runner you can use whatever you like um, I'm gonna cover up like this little menu bit I'm going to cover here and I'm going to cover here. So what if I do a little band right here so I can take this out and put it in? I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and then this, can I put it here? No, I want this to be here. Um, Here, let's cover it up with this, with the date. Why don't we, if this was the 12th, has to be around that time so we could do 
13, 15, 18 is really cute. We could do 16 with the little Christmas tree. Let's do 14. I mean, like, come on. So how is everybody's Christmas, Nazzy? It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> how is everybody's days leading up to Christmas? <laughs> Good golly gee. I mean, I could glue this on the 14. Let's make it smaller. Add a strip of paper to cover that up. And then, I don't know. But I wanted, oh, oops. Yeah, let's not do this here. Changing my mind on everything. All right, so I paused the camera and I figured out what I wanted to do so that you guys didn't have to, that took literally like 15 minutes. So I figured out what I wanna do to cover these little things up. In the bottom, I'm going to add a little cluster. I cut out the Santa Claus. I cut out the little old Christmas tree and the 14. I mean, this is the sticker, this was, the, this was connected to that. I cut it out and I created a little cluster of three right here at the bottom. So that will cover up those parts at the bottom and it looks, I think, really cute. And then here to cover up the November and October, I cut this out from the Daphne's Diary magazine from like the cupcakes. I cut out the bottom, just the border um, because it's, you know, technically like pattern paper. And so I will add it up here and the little white little dots kind of looks like Christmas lights so I thought that was fitting then this little piece of red paper was from the Prima line cut it out I will cover up the three and the four and this is where I will um, make the tuck spot for my Christmas tree that this side there's lights and this size it's colorful just to add a little bit of like tactileness and then every around there, I will just journal. And so that is what I'm going to be doing for the page. So let me begin just so that you guys kind of know what's going on in case you're lost. All right, so I looked at my camera and when I was finished filming, the camera stopped. So it did not show me actually doing my process. So that is it to my, you know, quick little demonstration. I wish it was longer, but I wanted to keep it just, I wanted to keep it short because I really just wanted to talk with you guys and let you know on the updates. A very, very huge, big, wonderful update is that I'm working on opening up a website. My Amity Bloom website, which is just so surreal for me. I never would have had the confidence to open up a website let alone a YouTube or Etsy if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much for your amazing support. That website will be half blog, half like Etsy shop. I'm working, I'm hoping to on there sell my journals, my everything that I make so that you guys can subscribe to like a newsletter via email. And every time I restock, or put up some journals, you will be notified immediately. That way it solves that problem that some people get there, some people don't, some people don't know when I, re when I will restock. So it's like everything will be on that website and it's just a lot more easier um, for me to contact you all that way. Um, so that will be very, very efficient and hopefully we'll, be, we'll solve this problem. Another thing which is super, super, super exciting is a lot of you lovely ladies have been contacting me and asking me if I can kind of host a workshop, but unfortunately I don't have a studio. I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't really have a place to host a workshop for a lot of people. So I thought the next best thing would be to make online classes. And I have a list of ideas that I haven't really shown on YouTube yet and things that I have been practicing on my own that I think a lot of you guys would enjoy, but um, one of the classes that I'm going to be working on this new year is a journaling sketchbook class. I'm working on making my own and testing it out, you know, obviously before I film a class about it, but I think I'm very excited about it. I'm also going to be making some journaling collage classes, some junk journal, how to make a junk journal from scratch kind of class where I go in depth. Um, and of course I will still be making YouTube videos, don't don't think that I won't. I'll still be making YouTube videos, but just the more in-depth, longer videos will be on my website. I want to thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity 
opportunity to express my love for crafting, for art, for journaling. You guys let me know that Daph that my video was on Daphne's Diaries website, which is just, oh my gosh, I freaked out. I told my whole family. It was just, it was a very beautiful moment because it kind of gave me the realization that I can turn this into a career. And that is, of course, what I would love to do. Um, it's such a humbling feeling, honestly. And I want to thank you so much. And hope your holiday season is filled with peace, love, and an abundance of kindness. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, Bubba. Hello, Nemo. Hello, Nemo. Yes, hello, Bubba. Hello, buddy. Here's my little puppy. So this is Hello, Nemo, everyone. <laughs> hello. Give me your hand. Still be there. Give me your Give me your hand. So cute. He's a little vicious beast.